I'm getting set up to drill the holes in my workbench and that's what I made this thing for and if you don't know what this thing is you didn't watch the last video where I talked about it and you didn't watch the build video on my main channel <laughs> where I actually built it it's a drilling guide that works with this drill take it and put it in here like so close that down tighten the screw and put a bit in before you do any of this and it guides the drill up and down straight so I can cut or drill straight holes and I need that for my workbench because I'm going to be putting in those pop-up dogs that I talked about also in the same video that I talked about this so if you don't know what I'm talking about go watch that video and you'll be uh, up to date but in the meantime on Saturday I got to, took the time to get the uh, CNC set up and been kind of, well, not steady on it because I've had other things I had to do. But my idea was to start off with something simple, which is my initials cut in a piece of wood. And then the next day I designed this thing here. And then yesterday I did this. These are hexagons and there's just one eighth of an inch between them. And there's a lot of texture here because I only had a straight cutting bit. And this one here, <laughs> Actually, I had to deal with just one eighth inch drill bits, which is a challenge because I only had two. And the first one started to get dull because drill bits are not made for cutting sideways, <laughs> obviously. And um, so I wanted to change it out because it was starting to burn too much, you know. I had the other one. And that, and that was after our, you know, cutting all this recess too. This was slightly recessed. So it started cutting out these holes and then it started to burn and I changed it and except when I re went to restart the thing the spindle didn't start up and it broke the bit the new bit immediately. So I had to take the old one and sharpen it up and reuse that to finish the cut and I got it done. I have to use 1 8 inch bits because they don't have the quarter inch collet for the machine. Uh, I guess it wasn't in the box when they sent it out, so I contacted them. They're going to send it out to me, and it should be here uh, soon. Because I got uh, I got quarter inch bits, quite a few of them actually, that I could use. Except, you know, <laughs> a quarter inch collet to put them in, and I didn't have it. And I wanted to get go rolling on it to see what I could do. Because I'm kind of in the mood, right? And then that was the idea to ramp up the complexity and the next one will be my inlay. You know, I left that space in my workbench up here to put my logo and I want to do that with the CNC. But then I know that a lot of you are not really interested in CNC stuff. So I am actually working on another project, which is this, which is an old water tank that I cut the bottom out of and this is going to be for a kind of cyclone dust collector so there won't be a cyclone to be a theme baffle so this is the collection bucket that goes on the bottom I cut this out roughly with the skill saw but I'm going to set up a uh, doohickey that I can use my trim router to you know set up on the workbench here and then I can just rotate this around and the trim router will cut this nice and flat and so the rest of the tank which is you know another 40 inches I'm gonna cut another ring from it so the theme baffle will sit down on top of this it'll have a groove for this to sit in and then there'll be another ring on top of that am I thinking about this correctly Okay, the, the ring has to be high enough for the filter for the... I think I'm going to put this shot back in. Hang on. Let's open it up. This is my really old. You can't really see it, but it's inside there. This is my really old shot back. That's still working. I think 1990 <laughs> bought that. So, it's quite old. And it's pretty loud and it's got lots of suction so there'll be the plywood here or MDF I don't know whatever I've got okay probably be plywood plywood 
ring ring the height of the the um, filter and then another plywood on top with that motor on top of that all right so this whole thing will lift up slightly and you can slide this bucket out that's the reason why i didn't make this too big this is actually pretty big this is like 22 liter uh, gallons or right up to the top here which is you know 80 80 liters so it's not a small amount of dust that will go inside here this thing is you know, probably bigger than it looks on the camera 23 inches across and 13 inches deep it'll be a little bit less once I trim the top of it but not much so yeah, I'll be getting started on that. Well, I've already started by cutting this out, and I filmed part of that. But um, the interesting thing will be trimming that and then making the ring, and I'll be cutting that on table saw, so there'll be people screaming about that. Oh, you're going to lose your arm. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to be working on that because I need a dust. I need a... And this will be on wheels, too, which I haven't worked out all the details with this. Okay, I can either put the wheels directly on this tub or I can build some kind of a frame support that this tub slides in because I want this to roll around on the floor. Right? I want to be able to take it down there to the CNC and hook it up down there or I want to have it here where I have all this sanding stuff. This will be mainly where it would live. And then I can just plug it into those I think like the spindle sander or the belt sander or anything else here that I'm using that creates dust. You know, it'd be nice to be able to connect, connect my sander to a shop vac. And this would be great because this would keep the theme baffle would have make the force of dust down at the bottom and keep the filter a lot cleaner than it is in that thing up there. Welcome, human. I am ready for you. Fish, plankton, sea greens, and protein from the sea. Fresh as harvest day. Overwhelming, am I not? 